Thanks to my generous supporters who have donated through PayPal and Venmo. There are links in the description below if you would like to donate to the channel. Today we're going to check out a couple of sweet crossbows from Killer Instinct. The SWAT X1 and the Fatal X with Rapid Draw Crank. Both of them have cranks. We're going to go over all the specs for these crossbows. And then at the end of the video, we're going to check out all of the promotional pictures for these crossbows. Let's start with the width on these crossbows. They're both 6.25 inches wide, and that's from the center of the left cam to the center of the right cam. And then you have a little bit more that sticks out, giving you around 7 or 8 inches total width when these things are cocked. If you want some really precise details on how wide a lot of popular crossbows are, in the description there's a link to a video about that. So these are extremely narrow crossbows. Obviously it's a tie for width on these things. Both of them are going to be great for hunting in pretty much every situation you're going to be in. Now speed on these crossbows. Each one with a 390 grain arrow, they both come with three arrows, it's shooting 405 feet per second. You could add a little bit of weight to the arrows if you want. That's going to quiet it down a little bit, slow it down a little bit, make it more efficient, and hopefully extend the life of the limbs on your crossbow. Both of these crossbows have a 50% let off, and since both of them come with a crank, that's not a huge deal for the user, but it does put less pressure on your trigger mechanism having a 50% let off. The stock on the Fado X is adjustable, and the stock on the SWAT is fixed. Now, the SWAT is a shorter crossbow by several inches and I'm a tall guy and I've never picked up a small crossbow and thought, you know, this is too compact and uncomfortable for me. I have the Raven R29 and it's a small crossbow, but to me it's very comfortable. Some people say it's too small for them. Back to these crossbows. Stock on the Fado X adjustable, SWAT X1 not adjustable. The Fatal X is 30 inches long and the SWAT X1 is 25 inches long. So if having a compact crossbow is your thing, then you might be comfortable spending the extra money for the SWAT X1. So let's go ahead and jump to the price. $680 for the Fatal X. And with the specs that you're getting, other than the fact that this is made overseas, that's a pretty decent price. And the price on the SWAT X1, $1,300. Once again, it's very small and you have to pay for that compactness. Also the reputation of Killer Instinct. Most people that have these crossbows love them. Most people don't ever have any problems with them. There are links in the description if you want to check these out on Amazon. Before you purchase anything from Amazon, make sure you check eBay. And when you're on eBay, if you're getting one of these crossbows, I recommend getting them new. If you're going to get them used on eBay, read the entire auction. Ask the seller questions. Make sure there's a lot of pictures. Make sure you have a lot of pictures. And if you see any red flags, don't buy anything used. The trigger on the Fatal X is an industry standard 3.5 inches. That's a great poundage for a trigger. But the SWAT X1 is a little bit nicer with a three pound trigger. Both those triggers are gonna give you the ability to shoot very accurately. Now, let's talk about the cranks on these things. We are comparing the Fatal X that comes with the crank. You can get it without the crank for a little bit less money. You're going to have 50% let off. Both of them come with the crank and the caulking sled, so you can do either one. Caulking sled's not going to be too bad because it's, they both only have 195 pound draw weight and they have 50% let off. And another little comparison about how efficient these things are is my Raven has a 280 pound draw weight and it is faster but there's a big difference there in draw weights um, and I personally just like things that have lower draw weights that are still around 400 feet per second so they're decently efficient. Rich at Death by Bungie has an awesome calculator for crossbow efficiency if you want to check that out. And the reason why the Fatal X wins in the category of crank is because some of the crank for the Fado X is built into the crossbow. The only part that isn't is the handle. But the mechanism for cranking the SWAT X1, it's a, an entire crank assembly that's separate. So it's just more for you to carry. If a cool crank is your thing, you might want to go with the Fado X. The length on the Fado X, the smallest it will go down to is 30 inches and then you can make it longer with the adjustable buttstock. And the length on the SWAT X1 is a fixed 25 inches, very compact. 
The weight on the Fatal X is 7.4 pounds and the weight on the X1 is 7.2 pounds. I think that the X1 is a little bit heavier because it has a barrel for the bolt instead of just a standard flight deck. So let's talk about that a little bit more. With the Fado X having a flight deck, the cams are probably tilted some, so there's some downward pressure onto your flight deck. I'm sure there are some people out there that don't like that. Personally, I don't like it, but I'm probably not gonna let that affect what crossbow I purchased. Because if you go back a few years, 99% of the crossbows sold out there did not have level cams. They had downward pressure of the string onto the flight deck just to keep that string more stable as it travels out the flight deck. So it's not something that causes big problems. I guess the serving on the bottom of the string would wear out faster with that downward pressure, but it doesn't wear out fast. And I think that the cams on the SWAT X1 would be level since your bolt is enclosed in a barrel system. They really don't want that string pressing up or down on the barrel section where it travels. The draw weight on these crossbows, both of them are at 195 pounds. The draw length on the Fado X is only a quarter inch longer than the X1. Fado X 13.5 inches and SWAT X1 13.25 inches. And I think it's pretty impressive that with less than 200 pounds of draw weight, they're still getting a 390 grain bolt up to 405 feet per second. They both come with three bolts. They both come with a crank and a sled, come with a quiver, they come with a scope. A lot of people like the Killer Instinct scopes. They come with wax. And they both also come with a lifetime warranty to the original owner, and that covers anything that is a non-wearable part. So they're not gonna cover your strings, but if a cam breaks or a limb breaks, you should be covered. Part of that warranty is that after a set amount of time, you do have to take it in for regular inspections at an authorized Killer Instinct dealer. So a little bit more detail about how these things are different with caulking. With the Fado X, it's going to be a pretty standard process. If you're using the sled, it's going to get hooked on the string, it's going to get hooked on the back behind the scope, and you're going to pull that back for a standard caulking process. If you're using the crank, also pretty standard, you're going to put your handle on, pull your hooks down, hook them on, crank it back, it's going to be caulked. Now, the caulking on the SWAT X1, make sure you watch a video on this before you purchase this. There's a door in the back that's going to have to be opened up. The air is going to have to be put down into the barrel, and then there's a red button on the back that you're going to have to push, and that arrow is going to drop in the rest of the way. Then you're going to close your door. Part of the string in the back is covered up, and just make sure you understand there's a few extra little steps to caulking the SWAT X1. I think it's something that you're going to get extremely comfortable with. It's not gonna take you a lot of extra time. Just make sure you see that process and make sure you're comfortable with it before you make that purchase. Now let's take a look at the promotional pictures for these crossbows. Here's the Fatal X if you want it without the crank and you're gonna save a little bit of money. It's only $550. That one's also in the description. But we're gonna check out the Fatal X with the rapid draw crank. Starting with this one, the first thing I want to note is that if I personally owned one of these with the crank, I'm going to take this foot stirrup off the front. If you want any bipods or hangers for your Raven crossbows, go to BackyardBroadheads.com, which is linked in the description below. I make those accessories. Back to the Fatal X. If I had this, I would definitely look into taking this front foot stirrup off just to shorten the overall length of this thing. If you have a crank, you're probably not gonna need to put your foot into the foot stirrup. And just looking at this picture, it's pretty cool looking. Adjustable buttstock is cool. It looks narrow. I might buy one of these at some point. A better look at the back of it. You can see how this part of the crank stays attached to the crossbow and your hooks are gonna get hooked on these little pins right here. The only thing you have to take off is this crank. There's your adjustable buttstock. This picture shows another reason why I'd want to take this foot stirrup off because this thing is going to be pretty freaking small without that foot stirrup. The width on this thing, pretty freaking narrow, not very long, around 29 inches. Uncocked, once again, a very compact crossbow. These arrows are on a bit of an angle, so that makes it kind of wide, but maybe you could change that angle so those are in a little tighter. And I'm sure you can put this quiver on the other side if it's in your way over here. I like how it has these wings here to protect your fingers from the strings. And it also has this little space here where the tip of your arrow 
your field tip or broadhead is going to go in there. It's going to be a little bit protected. Cool picture. Kind of cool picture. Foot stirrup looks massive in that picture. There's another look at your adjustable buttstock. Little you push up here, it pushes this pin down here, and you can move that back and forth. All of this stuff on the crank, it's going to be pretty much out of your way, and it does stay attached to the crossbow. I like how the center pin here in this limb is offset, so there's less space on this side than this side because you're going to be putting all your pressure onto this side of the limb. And if you take a look at the string here, everything's very neat. The serving is very tight, so it's a pretty quality looking component. Looks to me like six options for different positions for your buttstock. Comes with a Killer Instinct scope. A lot of people online like the Killer Instinct scopes. Oh, and this little bonus here, a hold down brush instead of a lever or arm. Three bolts, quiver, scope, sled. So you have two different ways you can cock this with the sled or with the crank and your lifetime warranty on non-wearable parts. The SWAT X1. This is a tiny little crossbow. When they measure the length of it, they're not including these little rubber bumpers on the front, so you're going to be adding a little bit of length to the number that they give you. It's kind of cool how your arrow tip is right here, and your field tip or broadhead is going to be somewhat protected. Your bolt does hang out inside of this barrel, so it really shouldn't be able to oscillate very much as it's fired from here to here. And maybe that is going to give you some crazy accuracy with this thing. This is the door in the back that I was talking about. It is hinged and it folds up. Your arrow drops down in and then this is that red button I was telling you about. You're going to have to press that for your arrow to drop the rest of the way in. It's kind of a weird system, but I think you're going to get used to it very quickly and it's not going to take you a lot of extra time. It's going to be more like habit. Looks like it comes with some dampeners, and that's kind of cool. I would really only want to have factory dampeners on any crossbow. Big foot stirrup. This is going to help you stand this thing up vertically. If you want to stand your Raven crossbow up vertically, you can check out BackyardBroadheads.com from the description. I make those accessories. And remember that your length on these crossbow is fixed. This buttstock is not adjustable. Cool picture. Another cool picture, you know, if having something tiny is your thing, you might want to spend the extra money on the X1. Nice and compact. Decent picture that does show you the end of the barrel. So you're going to have to line your veins up with these one, two, three slots. And as you are walking through the woods with this thing, especially if you don't have your quiver for some reason, you know, you're not going to get your broadhead or arrow caught on anything. Another cool pick. And if this thing is to scale, this is just ridiculous how much smaller this thing is than your standard older style crossbow. Your 50% let off cam. Another look at your barrel system. Your three pound trigger, this entire crank, the handle, the assembly, plus the hooks goes on each time you go to load this thing, and then the whole assembly comes off for shooting. Popular Killer Instinct scope, pretty cool reticle. Kind of wish it had some numbers on the side here, but it's not a bad reticle, and I'm very picky about reticles. It looks to me like this would be your 90, and the bottom of that red line would be your 100. Three bolts, crank, rope quiver, arrow, scope, and I'm just now seeing that this has two hooks instead of a sled for the rope and your lifetime warranty to the original owner for non-wearable parts. And I like how the limbs start out kind of narrow here, then they get wider and they go back down again. I wouldn't mind learning more about limbs and how they flex and work. After reviewing these crossbows, the winner for me is definitely the Fatal X. And now you can check out another Fatal X video or some other crossbow comparison videos.